Yanez Mejia, brave botanist. When Yanez was a young child, life was carefree and fun. She spent more time riding horses and exploring outdoors than she did in school, and she liked it that way. Then things changed. Her parents divorced and life got tough. At first, she lived with her mother in Texas. Later, she lived with her father in Mexico City. Yanez was unhappy and restless. She married and divorced, twice. Finally, when she was 55 years old, she moved to San Francisco for a fresh start. Her doctor encouraged her to exercise, so she started hiking. It changed her life. Her love of the outdoors blossomed into a new passion, botany, the study of plant life. She no longer felt like she was wandering through life. Now she had a purpose. Ines studied botany at the University of California in Berkeley, not caring that she was the oldest student in class, but reading about plants wasn't enough. She wanted to go out and find plants, ones that nobody had ever seen before. It wasn't going to be easy. Women weren't taken seriously as plant collectors. Expeditions were considered too difficult and physically demanding. An inexperienced middle-aged woman trekking through forests and jungles? No way. Inez didn't care about what anyone said, and she boarded a steamship to Mexico. She spent the next seven months exploring and collecting plants. Much of the time, she worked alone. Other times, she hired guides who took her to remote areas both on horseback and on foot. She took photographs of trees, plants, shrubs, and moss. Then she dried the specimens, packed them up, and shipped them back to the States. No matter what challenges she faced, mosquitoes, ticks, snakes, spiders, storms, heat, rugged terrain, primitive camping, she just kept going. Only after she tumbled off a cliff and broke several ribs did she take a break. Interesting plants were everywhere, and that's where Yanez went. For 12 years, she explored dry highlands, low wetlands, mountains, and rainforests in Mexico, Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Chile, Ecuador, and Alaska. Yanez's dream of finding a new plant species came true several times. Many plants have been named in her honor. Because of her hard work and determination, she's considered to be one of the most important and skilled botanists of the 20th century. She collected over 150,000 specimens, many of which are still being studied today. Ines proved that you are never too old to follow your passion, wherever it may lead.